How's it going everyone and welcome to my course on jQuery where we're going to cover all of the jQuery basics starting from how to include jQuery in your pages and then going all the way up to using plugins and even developing our own plugins. So first of all, why should you use jQuery? Well, the main reason to use jQuery is it's going to simplify the process of including JavaScript in our websites. So many of the common tasks you'll need to do with JavaScript, you can do them uh, easier and you can do them faster um, using jQuery. So that's the main reason for doing it. And also a lot of things that you can do with JavaScript are quite difficult, but if we're using the jQuery library, it's going to be a lot easier, um, such as manipulating the DOM and using Ajax. Um, so that's the main reason to use jQuery. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that jQuery and JavaScript are not different programming languages. Um, jQuery is all JavaScript. It's totally written in JavaScript, but it is an abstraction layer on top of JavaScript, and it's going to make it a lot easier for us to include JavaScript in our websites. What I'd like to show you in this first tutorial is two different ways on how to include jQuery into your website. Now, if you have an internet connection when you're developing, and you'll always have an internet connection, the easiest way is just to go to Google CDN. So um, you can just uh, go into Google and type jQuery CDN and click the first link here. And then just go down to the link for jQuery and click on that link. And then what you want to do is you just want to copy this snippet right here. And then you want to paste it into your document um, just below the ending body tag. And you could place this anywhere inside the document, but um, placing it before the ending body tag is the best place because it's going to give people the appearance that your page is loading faster. The only downside to doing it this way is if you don't have an internet connection, then this jQuery file here won't be able to be accessed. So the other way is to go to jQuery's website and just download jQuery and then you'll just want to change this source here so that it's pointing to um, the JavaScript file um, on your local computer. Um, one thing I'll mention is that um, I'm using XAMPP in this course, um, which is a server bundle. Now this isn't necessary to, um, to use JavaScript or to use jQuery, but in future lessons we might be doing um, Ajax and we might be doing that with PHP files. So um, it's just handy to be developing this um, on a server bundle such as XAMPP because if later on we decide we want to um, have our JavaScript interacting with PHP, then we're going to be able to do that because we're working on a server bundle um, that's uh, supporting PHP. So I suggest if you don't have this installed, um, install XAMPP, or if you're on a Mac, um, install MAMP, that's M-A-M-P, and um, that's basically all you need to do um, in order to run PHP. Um, but for now, this is all you need to do, and see you in the next lesson.